Uh, I don't know. It's um, it was a tough game and uh, a hard-fought game, and a lot of things happened down there. And I suppose you ought to be uh, thankful you didn't uh, get beat. Really. Where do you put? this Michigan team at this point right now? Still a little inconsistent offensively, I think. Well, we didn't uh, move the ball as well as I thought we would uh, uh, offensively. A defense played well again. Um, we, um, we blew a couple of opportunities. Um, some we shouldn't have blown. Others, uh, you know, one of those things. But uh, it was kind of, a, uh, kind of a poor offensive performance. But defensively, I thought we played well again. You know, you talk about the defense. Their passing attack really was real short stuff. Average less well, than 10 yards of completion. What they do is it's kind of um, this is a shovel pass here to Rooks, their fullback. Uh, they hurt us a couple times early with this, Jim, and then we shut it down. But um, their passing attack is like a possession passing attack or like a possession running attack. If they get a four or five yard uh, gain on a pass, that's a uh, plus for them. So in a way, that's kind of like a running play. Absolutely. And they'll complete a lot of passes, but not with a lot of yardage. This is a big play, Trudeau. Uh, Scarcelli uh, uh, runs him down from behind and hits him and he fumbles. Ivan Hicks caught the ball in the air and we turned it nine yards and we take over. Uh, that was a key play to stop a drive. One of the things that happened, uh, Jim Harbaugh again had to get out of the pocket some. Well, he didn't hear. I don't know why he left here. He left a little early and scrambled around. Fortunately, he got the ball out here and Jokic made a catch for a first down. But uh, in that particular play, I felt he should have stayed in there a little longer. Here's a third and seven play, uh, pressured up the middle, and he got the ball out nicely to uh, uh, Jokic, uh, uh, beating the blitz, really. <clears throat> here's a third and eight situation. We didn't capitalize well on third down again. And here's a, I don't know whether it's a badly thrown ball or whether he ran over the receiver, but um, stopped the drive again. So uh, Illinois takes over. Uh, this pass, uh, they hit uh, several times on us, the curl. Uh, setting a man down in front of him and running a guy in behind. And They're good at finding those seams. They are that. Here on a third and one, uh, he fumbles the ball and uh, stops the drive. Uh, They're forced to punt, decide to fake the punt and uh, run. And uh, fortunately, we stacked it up and took over. That's really good reaction by the special teams because right. you weren't expecting that, were you? No, not at that particular time, but uh, we were kind of in a safe punt situation. Here we were running a reverse with uh, Gerald White dropped the ball, picked it up, threw a 40-yard pass to Paul <laughs> Jokic. It was complete. Um, this was a big play and got us down into scoring position again. Uh, Jim rolls out here again, throws down here a ball that uh, Paul insists that he caught. Uh, the official uh, felt that he had said something uh, to him and, and uh, took us right out of field goal range by penalizing us 15 yards mm -hmm. for unsportsmanlike conduct. That was when the bench got extremely upset, not uh, about the call. The bench uh, didn't get uh, upset about the call, although I don't know whether he caught it or not, but it did get upset at the 15-yard penalty at such a period. Feels, I feel sometimes that these officials are intimidated when they, uh, by the crowd, particularly at, uh, down here at Illinois. They come back with Trudeau throwing again the little shirt stuff. There's very little you can do to defend that. Well, you can you can defend it, but then you're going to get the big ones. So, <laughs> so you better let them catch some of those uh, short ones. They get down in, but miss an opportunity now that, for the field uh, goal. That field goal was missed. That's correct. And uh, now we uh, take the football. This is Morris on the sweep. Uh, we didn't get a lot of good running plays out there. He picked up the first down. Uh, now we got a uh, penalty here, and uh, we're in a fourth down and 20, and Monty takes off running from deep in our own territory. Now, was that called by you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, mean, always, I always like to run in a, from the punt on 4th and 20. <laughs> <laughs> so you so, didn't call that so, one. So uh, Jim comes out and hits Paul Young. <laughs> You're not going to answer that <laughs> Well, I, I'm not going to call that one, no. Uh, unfortunately, we get down in there with an opportunity to kick a field goal, and we miss it. So both of us have missed a field goal here in the first half. Uh, nothing, nothing. Did you expect that kind of a defensive struggle? Well, no, I didn't uh, at all. I thought we would score. I thought they would probably score. Their offense is too, uh, too good. Uh, but I thought we would be scoring too. But the defense has kind of dominated this game, which was really surprising to me. Well, we'll take a look at the second half action too. And defense played a big part in that one, although there were some points scored. So stay with us.
stuck Gerald in there to throw the ball and put him in flanker, and uh, I ran down at the safety, and they thought it was the reverse, and I just came up, peeled off with free safety, basically. Oh, yeah, he got it there. Didn't look good, but he got it there. make it or if it bounced short and luckily it just hit short enough to <laughs> preserve the tie. Dieter Heron got two field goal attempts. One of them was good, but the one he got, he didn't get by much, he got, but he got enough of it. He right? got enough of it, yes, and uh, and uh, he's a kind of a defensive football player that can block kicks. You know, he, he knows where to go. And he got a to punt earlier this there. year. Well, he got a punt at Michigan State and, and uh, he got his hands on two balls down there. You come into the second half, opening the third quarter, and it looked to me as though you had the offensive problem solved. Did you feel that way? Well, I felt we would move the second half. I didn't see how they could keep us from scoring, but, uh, you know, we, we tend to stop ourselves. We broke down on pass protection a couple of times, and uh, here's Gerald White coming out on a, about a 12-yard gain the first down. They this is the first. This is our first possession after the half, Jim. They were really lined up tight. They were really trying to stop the run, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Third and six. Uh, he goes down and hits uh, Johnny Colasar for a big gain, 30-yard gain, all the way down into their territory now. And we get down in close and get stopped again. Have to go to the field goal, and this time Mike Gillette puts it right down the middle. And that makes it 3 nothing. They came back, had a, a series where they had to punt, and you had to give it back That's to right. them, and That's here right. they are. That's right. We, you know, we, if we'd have moved at that time, we'd have been in real good shape. Here he threw to the tight end down the middle and hit him uh, for a big play. But this uh, this is just uh, a very badly played by our short corner, letting him outside. Longest run from scrimmage that we've had this year. And at, really, to be honest with you, Jim, there's no sense in that. And that uh, particular play led to their field goal. We get a sack here from Mark Mesner uh, to take him back. And, but that long run gave him the field goal, and there's one thing you know about running the football, you don't let it outside the perimeter. And we let it out for a big gain, which is uh, not good. Well, that tied it up at three at that point, and we move on to the fourth quarter now. And in the fourth quarter, with probably, what, 11 minutes or 10 minutes left, you begin to go on We've a good been, drive. We have a good drive going here. Uh, we have uh, White and Perriman in the backfield, and. Uh, mixing the running up here a little bit. This is a bootleg. Uh, Jim decides to run, picks up a first down. Uh, we're down in their territory. Uh, we possessed the ball and we, you know, we looked good. We blocked well, and did a good job. This was a third down and seven. Ran a sweep and Gerald White uh, runs hard and picks up the first down. At this point, it looked like, you know, they were unstoppable going to get in because the power off tackle was working. Yes, we were dominating the line of scrimmage for the first time all afternoon. And, uh, and that was good. But here, with a first down on the 12, uh, we fumbled the ball, and they recovered. You know, instead of having second and seven on the nine, we turned the ball over to Illinois uh, with enough time for them to take their time to get whatever drive uh, they want, and, and they do a good job. They do it. hold on to the ball. Yeah, we were hitting good here, and, but, you know, they held on to the ball. Let's give them credit there. Uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, they get down into our territory, and then our defense stiffens as it has all year and uh, force them to go to the field goal, and that's when uh, Dieter got his hand on you the know, ball. They never did yeah. ever get the big play, which I think is, again... Well, they got the long run. The yeah. one long run, Jim, was the thing that, that uh, hurt us more than anything else. Otherwise, it was a lot of short stuff, but effective. You know, they had some ball possession, and they did get into our territory on a, several occasions, but, uh, you know... Yeah. It, you give him a chance here to the field goal, and this is the big play. So Dieter jumps over and gets a hand on that ball right there, and he hit the crossbar right there. He did, that ball would have been right down the middle, I would guess, uh, had he not got his hand on the ball. But getting the hand on the ball uh, saved the day for us. At least, you know, when you look at it, when you have a, an opportunity to kick a field goal that close in, in the last play of the game, you almost assume, you know, it looks like you're going to get beat. But fortunately, in this particular case, instead of losing on a last-minute field goal, we end up with a tie. I don't like the tie, but it's better than losing. Right, and that's, I think, what we saw, the jubilation of the kids afterwards, that they avoided the loss. I think probably the tie, the idea of a tie set in after well, you got they, to the locker room. The, the, the idea was that tie, we're still in the race, you know. With a loss, we'd be out. 
What about this team out at this point? You've played two tough games on the road. Both games on the road, you didn't allow the home team to score a touchdown. <laughs> right, right. And you wind up 0-1-1 and in those two games. Yeah, right. Well, uh, Jim, it, it's extremely tough to play good football teams on the road. I mean, that's fundamental. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things where everything, you know, we couldn't get the crowd quieted. We couldn't, uh, you know, we couldn't do things like we'd like to do them or we could do at home. But uh, nevertheless, in those very close, uh, contested games, I honestly feel that home field advantage is a tremendous thing. Tied up 3-3 Michigan, Illinois. Coming up next, a great story about a great young man who almost came back from nowhere. Stay with us. Uh, they hurt us a couple times early with this, Jim, and then we shut it down. But um, their passing attack is like a possession passing attack or like a possession running attack. If they get a four or five yard uh, gain on a pass, that's a uh, plus for them. So in a way, that's kind of like a running play. Uh, I don't know. It's, um, it was a tough game and uh, a hard fought game and a lot of things happened down there. And I suppose you ought to be uh, thankful you didn't uh, get beat, really. Where do you put this Michigan team at this point right now? Still a little inconsistent offensively, I think. Uh, it was kind of, um, uh, kind of a poor offensive performance, but defensively, I thought we played well again. You know, you talk about the defense. Their passing attack really was real short stuff. Average less well, than 10 yards of completion. What they do is it's kind of um, this is a shovel pass here to Rooks or fullback. Absolutely. And they'll complete a lot of passes, but not with a lot of yardage. This is a big play, Trudeau. Uh, Scarcelli uh, uh, runs him down from behind and hits him and he fumbles. Ivan Hicks caught the ball in the air and we turned it nine yards. Well, we didn't uh, move the ball as well as I thought we would uh, uh, offensively. A defense played well again. Um, we, um, we blew a couple of opportunities. Uh, some we shouldn't have blown, others, uh, you know, one of those things. But 